All right, so we're here with Keverly, and she's been running and <clears throat> has a history of shin splints. Um, this time a little atypical. It's kind of on the on the back side of the calf. Um, when you're running, how zero to ten scale, how high does it get? It gets to about an eight. It gets to about an eight. And then when we do one specific test, which is down and in, and hold that right there. So it's it's weak, um, and then what's the pain level when we do that test? Um, it's only about a five. About a five when we do the test, uh, and of course the weakness we can visualize too. So. Okay, so the first thing we found was the tibialis posterior. I get so confused. We found it up and out was weak, and it's still weak, and we stretch the muscle, kind of like when the doctor taps your knee with a hammer, and it didn't strengthen, so I had to treat a local injury first. So the, the test is still uh, weak, and then we went through her whole system, and I just saved the time of, you know, checking that, and we'll just summarize what we found. To the, we found first a cranial, so craniosacral stuff can affect really anything, so it's possible that some cranial bone stuff. Um, but we, we checked through and found something related to thymus immune. We challenged against virus. We got a weakness there. Um, we found the remedies. So we're going to just treat that reflex. So if you'll set this over here, just relax down. So treating is just massaging. And usually you'll tender? Anything there? Um, when you touched it right there, yeah. Right there. Little, uh, little, uh, on that. Right there. Yeah. I think, I did a preliminary check, I think this is going to strengthen those weaknesses. Okay. That this is really a pattern that has to do with inflammation in your system. Okay. We'll see. So now back up and out, hold there. Still a little bit. Can you tell the difference? Mm -hmm. And let's go down and out. Hold there. That's really solid. Mm -hmm. Feel that? Yeah. Okay, I'm cranking on that now. And here's the one that caused pain. Five out of ten. Down, in, and I'll lift up. How's the pain? The pain is but a four now. We haven't treated the pain though. So yeah. we now we're just going to go through the rest of that up the back of the fibula here. That's all the pronei muscles. Um, we'll do a, a pain gating technique. Um, and I've explained this before, but our pain receptors called nociceptors are always firing. All nerves have to have activity to stay alive. So our system is made where the pain receptors don't receive, don't, they don't get to perception. They're blocked or gated in the spinal cord. Okay. And so a simple tapping technique that we do helps to reestablish that gating. Okay. Now, if you had a nail in your foot and you did some tapping, it might bring it down from a 10 to a nine and a half. <laughs> you have to fix the, the injury first, right? But if we are successful at doing that, and I'm not saying we are going to be, this is just, we're trying, we're doing the best we know how, and then we're going to observe the result. Um, but if we have treated all the problems associated, the weaknesses, the injuries, and even the systemic, you know, inflammation pieces, um, you should be able to tap it down and it stays down. Okay. So. Next thing I'm going to do is just go through the muscles here. Again, same thing. Kind of tell me what is ouchy. And then here is the pain gating technique. Um, this is kidney bladder point right in here. Bladder or something or another. I'm not an acupuncturist. Um, you're going to tap. 
Okay, so go ahead and do that. And what you'll do at home is you'll touch and tap. So you'll put your hand on it like this. Uh -huh. Right now, I'm just going gonna, gonna to go ahead and touch it for you. Uh -huh. And actually do a little muscle work with it. But you just keep tapping. Can just, you know, about a minute. Is that tender in there? Yes. Now, when you do, when you check through, you found um, a pinpoint here. You can stop now. Pinpoint here, so you're going to check that again. Okay. And then we found a pinpoint up here. Okay. You're going to check those two spots again. Okay. After we treat it, you pull down on your ankle. Okay. And doing it yourself, you just grab the ankle, pull down. You know. Okay. You don't have to come to the other end of you and do it. <laughs> All right. So now push down and in. So just through kind of warming up the muscle, through testing, it came down from a 5 to a 4. Let's see what it does now. I didn't feel, I didn't feel much pain at all. It's a 0 to 1 now? I'd say it's about a 2. Maybe a 2, so a two. lower, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if you could tell, but I put considerably more pressure on it. Like I was... Yeah. Like I, was, I was trying hard. I was like pushing hard. Um, so that's, that's and I, hopefully the camera can kind of appreciate that. So <laughs> push it on it. Hold there. And same thing, strong there. That one didn't hurt. Yeah. Okay. And that's pretty good too. Okay. Let's put your shoe on. And then we'll just test it out. And there's one more thing I want to check. Uh, since this is kind of running base, we want to check your gait uh, neurology also. Okay. You want to try the hopping and see if you can reproduce it? How much How much did you get with hopping? Um, I got uh, some pain, although more with the stretching. However, not a lot. Yeah, not a lot. So do what you did before, where you were you were just kind of moving your ankle around and see if you can, you found a position you could get some pain. It actually feels a lot better right now. A lot better right now? Yeah. That okay. was the position that I hurt the most in. Can just, you still get a little bit there? Um, I'd say it's probably a one. Oh, yeah. down to a one? Yeah. Okay. So stand just facing me. Um, so you impressed with this voodoo? Yes. <laughs> so far? Yeah. Step back on this foot. And pull in. So this is a normal inhibition pattern. In this position, this arm should be swinging forward, so the lat muscle should be weak. And if it were strong, we'd say, oh, what's wrong with her? <laughs> this one, of course, should be very strong. And that is Laura Kara. Okay, so I'll give the instructions for what she needs to do for the next week. Go on some runs. We'll see what happens. Okay.